I've always been a huge believer in the power of storytelling. By seeing the world through another person's perspective or another person's point of view, and I just saw what a difference one person's voice can make. And like, I just, I just think there's so much transformative power in telling true stories. She lives and trains as fairy tales. Tara Gamunwatanawit describes the power of telling true stories, which inspired her to become a freelance journalist and documentary producer. In fact, this wasn't the career she imagined she would have. Tara's childhood dream was to become a theater actress, and she performed in a number of school plays and even had parts in larger scale musicals while she was studying in the United States. Though her favorite part of theater was exploring a different world and getting into the characters' ways of thinking, unfortunately, she often ended up with roles stereotyping Asian women. I felt like I was reiterating kind of the same kind of thought patterns, the same kind of perspectives, and often I found myself articulating words that I didn't necessarily believe in or agreed with. As an Asian in, in the theater industry, I felt like I was going after the same types of roles. You know, I was very typecasted. I wanted to be in theater to kind of break glass ceilings, to break boundaries, to offer different perspectives. But instead, I kept going in for nerd roles or prostitutes or something that's kind of stereotypical of my type, of who I am, what I look like on the surface. After being in theater for many years, Tara decided to shift to journalism and documentary production. In 2018, Tara returned to Thailand and began her journalistic career at Coconuts.co and later spearheaded the multimedia and video department at Disrupt. Tara then decided to become a freelance reporter for international news agencies before she established her own production company, Third Culture Productions, focusing on non-fiction content. Despite how difficult it was to switch directions from theater to journalism, Tara felt that this is her true calling. I think the hardest part about being in my field as a journalist, a producer, and now as a co-founder of my own business is probably uh, persisting through failures, no matter how big or small. Being in journalism and in production, a lot of things can go wrong. I have had experiences where people pulled out very, very last minute, or stories you've been working on for weeks or months just fall through, or um, a project you're really passionate about. It can be very discouraging and dispiriting, and I think what I've really had to learn is to not to dwell on those failures so much or those little missteps, but learning from what you could have done differently and also getting up and moving forward in the most efficient way possible. Even though female news reporters are common in Thailand, many of them still face gender bias and are often stereotyped as not being capable or strong enough to cover certain types of stories. Unfortunately, Tara was one of them. I hear all the time, like, you're a woman, why are you reporting on something so serious? Like, don't you want to report on fashion or beauty or something like that? Like, you know, when I do something, politics or crime, and I, I'm really passionate about doing, like, the, the deeper, darker stuff sometimes, crime, whether it's investigative reporting, I get a lot of, mm, like, that's so serious. Like, isn't that like, wh why are you doing that? You're, you're a girl or... Or that's so dangerous. Why don't you leave it to someone stronger or more capable? And yeah, so I think those kind of stereotypes and those ceilings are still imposed on uh, Thai women in many ways because of this patriarchal society we're in. Tara also noticed that there are not enough women in senior editorial positions. Therefore, she hopes to see more women taking up decision-making roles so that the Thai media will shift towards a gender-equal perspective. I would love to see women play more roles shaping the industry, shaping communities, shaping how what is said in, in mass media. You know, I think mass media is very still very male-centric. There's kind of like a male gaze. Like if you turn on Thai TV, if you see the Lacans, it's still this very male-centric, very male-dominated kind of perspective that's happening. And I really think if more women are in positions of power, I think we're, we'll be able to shape the conversation towards something that can 
be more um, empowering for women. I think too many Thai women are told to be quiet, to submit, to obey, to just follow the rules without questioning it. I think that's what the one thing that is really is really uh, destructive. So I think I think empowering Thai women for me is promoting their self worth, their self confidence, their self values, kind of encouraging them to take control of their lives and that they, they want to live it no matter what people around them are saying they should do or shouldn't do. And also encouraging them to kind of stand up for rights, for individual rights or community rights or something that, and encouraging them, empowering them to demand for something that could improve their lives as well as the lives of those around them. Um, yeah, I think for me, it's it's uplifting them, supporting them, and empowering them to shatter glass ceilings and these traditional, archaic, kind of old-fashioned gender norms.